Well, new data released by digital security provider Norton has confirmed online scams are becoming more common and increasingly clever. From April to June, the company blocked more than 900 million threats internationally and almost 5 million here in New Zealand. Mobile phones weren't immune either, with more than 300,000 threats during the same period. Well, for more on this, let's bring in technology expert Paul Brislin. Hi, Paul. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. What is the cyber scam of choice at the moment that people should be wary of? There are a lot around, obviously. Well, yes, you start, we're starting to see a lot of activity with uh, what we call phishing, where somebody sends you an email. It looks very much like a, a formal thing, perhaps from your bank or from um, uh, uh, some kind of shop that you've been visiting lately. And there's a link in it, and it says, please click on the link to find out more information about whatever it is they're trying to scam you. And as soon as you do that, uh, it will potentially uh, give you a, a package of um, uh, software on your machine, which will lock your accounts freeze everything and mean you've got to pay the money if you want to get access to your uh, data. And this is this is happening more and more often, I'm afraid. So is there anything we can click on these days? It seems like everything is a scam. What are the what are the real red flags here we should look out for? Well, if you do get an, an email from somebody you're not expecting, it might be the bank, might be a shop, might be an insurance company, something like that. Um, have a look at the uh, the logo. Have a look at the, the spelling and the, the language they're using. Does it seem right? Most uh, reputable places won't send you a link. If they say, we want you to check on your information, please use our app or go and have a look at um, your, your documents online, they won't give you a link to do that because they know that that's one of the tricks that scammers use. So if there is a link in there, that's, that's a red flag. Uh, if you um, can have a look at the email address that the email comes from as well uh, and make sure that it is who it says it is supposed to be from, have a look at you know the detail in behind it rather than just the I'm from your bank um, sort of title that they have for these things. OK, and so, so, so just quickly spot. as well, one of the things that some of the less savvy people around here have been falling victim to, getting their Facebook accounts taken over. How do you avoid that? Because it's really hard to get them back. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. Social media is the new big vector for a lot of these things. What you've got to do is go into the settings and find a thing called two-factor authentication. Sometimes it's called multi-factor authentication. And that means rather than just your username and your password uh, being enough to change the, uh, the settings on your account, it will send a message to your cell phone. And so it's very difficult for the rat bags to get hold of your email address, your password, and your cell phone. They can usually get two of the three. But if you've got all three, it means you've got to then put in that little number they but send one you. One more thing That's for me to remember. Thing. Hey, uh, Paul, thank you very much for your advice tonight. No worries. Thank you.